Hello and welcome, it's Emil 215P here and today I'll be doing a review on the Soviet GB5 gas mask and SHMS gas mask uh, which are um, both masks made in the Soviet Union uh, the ones I got, you know, they are made in a 70, 1977 and 1978 and um, yeah, let's get started here so here you can see the GB5 and here you can see the SHMS so yeah both mask looks looks quite similar, but yeah, there's some uh, big design uh, difference. So uh, the SMH, this one I'm shaking on here, uh, it got a voice diaphragm and better lenses, when well forward facing lenses. And you know, if you know, if you, I, don't, I don't know if you can see it here, but things for the ears, so you can better hear. It's a kind of a thinner piece of rubber. So um, the advantage of the SHMS is that. Well, you can look through, um, due to the forward-facing lenses, you can look through binoculars and scopes. And you have a voice diaphragm so people can hear you easily. Well, as easy as it gets. And the GB5, well, it's as standard as it gets. You know, helmet-style mask and, you know, they here the, the lenses are also round, but they're basically mounted on the side, so you get a bit of vision to the sides, but not that great forward. So yeah, let me try and demonstrate it. As I said, I don't have any filters for them, so yeah, I'll try and... You can see how I got this thing, which I will try and show you now, that can't fit on the masks, but yeah, again, I wouldn't use them, because the filter here came with my GP5. So let's try and... Anyway. Let's try and put on the filter so you can see it with with the filter on. Yeah, as you can see here, it's on now. Basically, just a huge thing here <laughs> hanging at the bottom. They use the same thread, so you know, even though the assembly is slightly larger here. It, it still fits because well it's it's the same fruit for Titan. Well I got the filter here so as you, as you can see it's now on. I have been on the both masks and it fits them. But again I wouldn't use the the filter because it's filled with asbestos. Try and take it off again and so I can test the mask himself. Anyway, so first I will be showing the GP5, which is this thing. You take it on by basically stretching the rubber out here. And when it fits in your head now, then you can do a seal test to test if it's airtight by basically putting your hand on here. Yeah, I can't breathe, so the, the, uh, and the seal is tight enough. I don't actually know if it works, because I don't have anything to test it with, but yeah, it's on me here, and you can see how it sits. Well, it's a very primitive design, but it gets the job done. This thing was made in 100 of millions. So you know that so every Soviet citizen could get one in case of an emergency or other Soviet masks because yeah there was a lot made. So now we'll try and put on the SHMS, which I said it was made to so you can see through binoculars and stuff. So yeah, now that this thing on, you can probably see me a bit better than with the GP5. I can breathe through now. As you can see here, that um, the mask does compress, and you can see that the face lenses are facing forward. So yeah, I can see it good forward, but I cannot really see to the sides at all. This would be ideal for binoculars and similar stuff. As you can see here. Mask fits, how it looks. Anyway, I think this is fine. As I said, I don't really have anything to test them with, but yeah, let's try and get it off again. So, yeah, uh, these are the Soviet GP5 and SHMS gas masks. 
so now I will be, uh, I will try and uh, look and tell you what they look inside, kind of. So I'll just time to take the rubber on the other side. Alright, so yeah, you can see inside the SHMS, the lenses, the voice diaphragm. As you can kind of see here, there's a, this is the tissel tube, so, well, it kind of works like when you breathe, through the mask, then the, the tubes will kind of put, put it on the glass itself so uh, you know you can look through it anyway let's try and take this normal again do the same with the GP5 slightly easier anyway as you can see here it basically it's really similar like but with another you can see that there's other tissue tubes these things anyway these for the lenses and lens are obviously different but yeah overall I will say that both are a good mask if they can make it make a seal well you know if a mask is simple like this you know there's nothing not much that can go wrong with them so like yeah if you can they would would save your life if you can get a proper filter for them and make sure they make an airtight seal yeah, I think there's a kind of it. So yeah, have a nice day and bye.